Um, okay, so in AEW, who do you want to work with? What's like your dream scenario? Man, I don't know. Like, are we allowed? To, what is what are the terms of your contract? Are we allowed to say like how long you're there? Do you want to say that? Do you not? Want yeah, to it's a long. That? No, it's a long term deal. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's um, you know, I'm I'm not here for just a couple matches and then out. Like I'm I'm here for the for the long haul. Yeah. And uh, you know the um, yeah. I mean, I mean. It, like all these possibilities and you never thought we're going to be less than a year ago were even real, you yeah. know? And you look at this roster and like, there's so many, there's so much young talent as well. I mean, obviously John and I have wrestled so many times, but we've, mm -hmm. we, we, we bonded over wrestling. Yeah. You know, like we had never worked together, but we never really had much communication together, but when we worked together, it was kind of like, open that door with him. Like I said, he's kind of a nut, tough nut to crack, but yeah. almost like open the door with him as far as having conversations and things like that, mm -hmm. where it was like, we kind of became on a different level where it's like, and I appreciate all the things that he said about me. Like that. Like, yeah. I was just going to yeah. say, cause John, I mean, John's like a huge, as we said, he's like yeah. a huge wrestler. Like he loves to, he watches and loves everything. But the thing that always sticks out in my mind is him saying that he just thought that he, knew everything there was to know about wrestling essentially. And then he stepped in the ring with you and was like, Oh, sh this guy <laughs> knows way so, more than me. This guy's so good. Like yeah, his just, whole experience with you. And well, it's just like, being a student. like when he was within the shield and whatnot. Yeah. It's just being like a student of the game. Right. Like, I mean, I just, you study everything and he's kind of the same way. Like he's, he's got his finger on the pulse of everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, we just kind of hit it off that way. But obviously, you know, at some point he and I are, are going to do something yeah. together at some point, which is, I can't wait because we always had great chemistry. But like, I mean, to look at a guy like Kenny Omega, who I still, even though I was there yesterday, I've still never met him. Yeah. I didn't even see him yesterday. I feel like he's a tough nut to crack too. Well, it's, it's I keep trying to yeah. make it happen. I'm like, Hey, we're both from Canada. Should we be buddies? But I, I don't see him often enough oh, yeah. to like really make this relationship flourish, but I'm yeah. working on it. So, but, you know, I mean, obviously his, he's got a reputation for having great matches mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that. So I think at some point that's inevitable, um, that, that something will happen there. But, um, you know, I, I, or I look at a young guy, like, like a Darby Allen, yeah. who's got that kind of, that, you don't know what it is, but he's got something, right? Mm -hmm. That kind of Jeff Hardy, yeah, cool factor about him. Uh, you know, obviously, I think the the young bucks. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, the Edge and Christian thing can't happen, but right, yeah. You know, at, at some point, you know, you have to think something will happen with 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 those guys. Yeah. And um, what about like you and Matt? Yeah, that could that could happen too. But I mean, you think about like like those guys were obviously Edge and Christian and Hardy Boys fans. Yeah. You know? So for yeah. to be able to. Um, share space with them and, 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 um, you know, eventually do something with them as well. Yeah. It's huge. And I mean, it's just a, such, a, such an, a wide open thing. And uh, I haven't even fully wrapped my brain around it yet, but, um, you know, or like MJF, like, I think that yeah. kid is super talented. He's got it. You know, 100%. like he's got like, um, even like the promos and things like that. Like he's, he just, he gets it. Him and Jericho together. Are yeah. Great and too. Um, so like, you know, getting in there with a young kid like that and kind of, you know, same, mm -hmm. same thing, kind of um, seeing where he's at and also help him. Yeah. In, in a sense as well. It's uh, the, the, it's uh, that's exciting to me as well. Like, you know, the, the fact the roster is so young, being able to really very young, you know, get in there and, you know, help mold some of these, these guys. And even it's just like I said, it's, it's, that's kind of what also coming back meant to me was mm -hmm. like helping set up the next, next generation after this yeah so that's going to be part of the deal as well i mean obviously as an in-ring performer but then helping younger talent putting on that producer hat and yeah i mean i can do anything like lending I mean, your mind yeah to i mean like you know if i'm part of the team I'm part of the team right mm -hmm. and it's like i feel like i don't know everything but i know a lot of things yeah so and if nothing else and that's what i love about a guy like pat patterson yeah so to me he was a genius and, and he loved being he around. loved to talk about wrestling yes and Pat was one of these guys who was mm -hmm. so well respected for his mind mm -hmm. and, and but you could sit there and you could talk with him and debate wrestling and almost, and he loved that. He, like, yeah. He, you know, he, that was like something that excited him. So, and he never got offended where like, you know, if some guys are talking about like me, you're like, ah, I don't really agree with that. And they're like, what do you mean? Like I've been around for you know, Pat Patterson, what are you talking but, about? But Pat wasn't like that. He'd yeah. Be like, he'd be like, why not? 
and then you debate it. Yeah. And you and like he almost like lived for that. Yeah. You know? And it was like where you have that discussion of, of like his beliefs and yours and yeah. your feelings on a certain subject or whatever it was, and you and you and you just had this long talk and man, I just I love that about him so much. And uh then, oh, the classic part. You know who's yeah. asking about you? No nobody. nobody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fell for it every time. Every time. I'm like, oh no, nobody. Great, thanks. Um, yeah, I, yeah. It just like this, there's so much ahead of you right now. Mm-hmm. As you just like, you're going down this insane path. And was it was it a difficult decision to really decide to come to AEW? I mean, you like you said, you left WWE back in 2005, went to TNA. Yeah. But for you to come back to this conclusion. Was it difficult for you to get Well, there? I mean, of course. I mean, there's always, whenever there's like some sort of, you know, decision like that, that life altering decision, there's mm-hmm. there's a lot of thought that goes into it. Obviously, I didn't have a lot of time to think about this, but it was mm-hmm. like, um, what I really needed was the best platform for me to, like I said, I, I kind of got a second lease on life here with this. And I needed what I felt was going to be the best platform for me to be able to showcase that, but also um help yeah you know where could i where could i help also the next generation the best mm-hmm. and that's kind of what i felt here at AEW. like that's that was this like my initial talks with tony like i said they, the first conversation we had we talked for two hours yeah and from that initial conversation i was like man like i didn't think it was going to go that well and it came together pretty quickly after that you know just um i think we hit it off and kind of had the same feeling as to, to where he saw me and what i could do and yeah. what i could bring to the table and how i could not only, you know, like I said, help the roster and help myself and help the show. And it's like, there's something intriguing mm-hmm. about that to me. Yeah. And I like a challenge. Yeah. And um, so it was, um, yeah, like I said, it, it was it was not an easy decision, but it it, um, it also wasn't a hard decision, if that makes right. any sense, yeah. you know? 